newlydanish.com. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, Let's get ready to run. All right, so this is mock test seven. Okay, so we have 24 days before the test. So the test is in uh, 24 days. You don't have that much time. So that's just over three weeks. Your goal for the next 24 days is for your profile to look like this, okay? Um, this is Trayan's profile. So this is the guy that's number one on the site. He has, uh, it shows, um, looks as I'll give you the pin code. Just give me a second, yeah? It shows, uh, how prepared are you? Ask you a question and it shows I'm 100% prepared. Why is he 100% prepared? Because he has finished all the quizzes in each of the chapters five times. So that's a lot of times, okay? And if you do that, you're going to have the answers to thousands of questions in your head. And if you can manage that, which I believe you can, as you can see, someone has done it, um, you will pass the test. You just have to put in the work, okay? All right, now for the first timers, first pe the people that are here for the first time, um, how, do you how do you find your profile? Oh no! Okay, let's 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 do this and then we'll carry on. I put another slide, but I guess it didn't show up. Okay, so this is about the parliamentary principle, and it's the forgetting that decides. Um, who's going to form a government after uh, an election. So this is a new question. 26 people got this wrong. Um, 59 people got it right. For the people that got it right, round of applause. All right, on to the next one. Frequently asked question. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Houston, I'm not sure what you mean, man. It's probably your internet. Um, so, Kalmar Union was created in 1397. Uh, this is a semi-frequently asked question. Sometimes they ask, um, what's the name of the union? Sometimes they ask who was in the union. And sometimes they ask when the union was formed. So um, 26 people got this wrong. 62 people got this right. Excellent. Next one. All right. Um, next one. This is a frequently asked question. All right, so you've seen this before, most of you. Um, for the 11 people that got this wrong, hopefully you made a mistake. If not, now you know what you don't know. Now you know what you don't know. Plug that knowledge gap. It will show up on your profile under incorrect questions. So please use your profiles. On to the next one. We've got Lilia, Houston, Trey, and Abdullah, and Darby. All those players are in the top, top 30. So they're in the goal league. Plus the two players have reached an answer streak of three. Excellent. On to the next one. The most frequently asked question. I expect all of you to get this right. All 
All right, so four people got this wrong. This is quite uh, still good. Round of applause. Okay. For the people that are here for the first time, you're going to hear me say things like frequently asked question and um, potential new question. So when I say frequently asked question, what I mean is this is a question that has appeared in at least one previous test before, or in at least two previous tests. A potential new question is a question that has never been asked in the test. The test is a mixture of frequently asked questions and potential new questions. And um, usually when the test is very difficult, that's when they've increased the number of questions that have never been asked before. So this is the reason why you have to practice with all the frequently asked questions. There is a list on the site. You must know the answers to all those questions. There's about 185 to 186 of them. And then also practice with the rest of the quizzes um, for the potential new questions, okay? And if you manage to do that, which I hope you will, you will pass this test. It's not rocket science. You just need to practice. You need to discipline yourself and put in the work. You get out what you put in. All right, next one. All right, round of applause. You guys are doing really well. It's a static top five. Static top five. On to the next one. This is a brand new question, never been asked before. So let's see how many of you have either been practicing or have read the book, or both, ideally. Okay, so exactly, no, okay, just almost half of you got this wrong. So 45 people got it right and 43 people got it wrong. So this is, um, I, I guess this is a teaching moment as well. You can see exactly what I mean. Okay, so if, you, if this was the actual test and you were in the test hall and you answered these questions the way you answered them right now, about half of you would get this wrong. So this is the reason I say practice everything, okay? So that you have everything covered. We don't have that much time left. For the people that have been coming, they've heard me say this before over and over and over again. Uh, for the people that are here for the first time, you know, this is what I mean. Practice, 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 else you're going to fail. Next one. Okay, so this reshuffled the whole top five. I'm not surprised this... Uh, Bunch of combo breakers here. Sorry, guys. Um, 77 is the highest climber up 26 places. Great job. All right, next one. The pin is on the screen. Daniela. I just pasted it in the chat. Okay, so the structure reform happened in 2007 where the number of communes was reduced to 98 and the number of, and the district, I think the counties were changed to regions. And um, there used to be, I think seven counties and now there's five regions. Okay, so 26 people got this wrong. Most of you got this right. Round of applause for the people who got it right. All right, Olga is the highest climber up 12 places. Excellent. We still have a lot of questions to go, so we're just starting. Never been asked before.
All right, H.C. Anderson wrote a whole bunch of books and this one was one of them. On to the next one. Static top five, Safi is the highest climber. This is a frequently asked question. So it has shown up in several previous tests. All right, almost perfect score. Only one person got this wrong. Hopefully it was a mistake, but if not, now you know what you don't know. It's gonna show up on your profile. Please plug that knowledge gap. While we are here, let me show you how to find your profile. So go to nearlydanish.com. And um, when you get there, it looks like this. Under Kahoot, click on players. And it will load the leaderboard. It says, find your name below and click on it to see your progress. So look here, you're probably gonna be in the, the rookie league at the bottom, right? So if we, if, you, if you're here for the first time, you're going to be in the rookie, rookie league, click on, let's say, Gand Gandamalo and, um, as you can see, he's missed a whole bunch of sessions. He's 0% prepared and he hasn't done any kind of work. So your profile is going to look like this. Everything is going to be at zero. But the goal, your goal is to make your profile look like Trayan, who is number one. And um, let's see if he's actually finished the work. Okay, so I added some more questions and he's only 99.40% prepared, okay? So the goal is for your profile to look like this. So put in the work so that you'll be smiling after the test in 24 days. All right, moving on, next one. And of course, trend is number one, Derby two, CDD three, Dracula four, SAJ five, Peanut has a streak with nine correct answers in a row. That's a perfect score. Perfect score. All right, and he's on fire. Oh my, he's on fire. Next one. Obviously, you know the answer to this. Daniela, that's fine. Just let me know which one you chose and I can uh, reinst uh, reinstate your name after I upload, okay? All right, so uh, majority of you got this right. There's 98 communes. This is a question that you must know the answer to. It's a frequently asked question. For the two people that got this wrong, now you know what you don't know. Hopefully it was a mistake. If, if not, plug that knowledge gap. All right, next one. All right, get back in. This is a neat question, but if you've been practicing with us, then uh, you know the answer to this. Okay, so not surprised a lot of people got this wrong. 34 of you got this wrong. 53 people got it right. Round of applause for the 53. You have been practicing. <laughs> CBD fell out of the top five. Three players lost their answer streak of 10. Sorry, guys. Next one. This is a frequently asked question. You must know the answer to this. All right, nine of you didn't know the answer to this well. Now you know what you don't know. This is a frequently asked question. You must, must know the answer to this because the probability of it showing up in the next test in 24 days is very high. Next one. Sag moved up a notch. I can't pronounce this name, but uh, the person is up six places. Excellent. Next one. 
Never been asked before. Brand new question. All right, round of applause. Oh my! Oh. Sorry, round of applause. And actually, it wasn't uh, it wasn't a mistake. Most of you are on fire. Only eleven people got this wrong. On to the next one. Sag is out of the top five. Tran is in the, this guy, man. Tran is on fire. Has the highest answer streak of thirteen. Okay, so Trayan has actually completed all the quizzes in um, on the site and he created a second profile and started practicing yet again. And he actually is in the top, I don't know, probably top five again. Yeah, he's at number six and he's on his way to number one. His plan is to overtake himself. The dude is obsessed with this thing, man. But he's going to pass. Round of applause. Next one. One man army for real, man. The guy is a, he's a beast. Brand new question, never been asked before. Yes, so majority of the people that were um, uh, that went to the Fogelhoi school in a, um, when it was created in the 1800s were farmers' kids, so the poor people's kids. So it was a huge opportunity for them. Three in a row, Gabri is back in the game and he's on fire. Oh my! He's on fire! Into the next one. Got about 30 questions to go. All right, this is a frequently asked question. You must know the answer to this, okay? So for the 15 people that got this wrong, please. Now you know what you don't know. Get this right next time, because it might show up next time. And also for the people that are here for the first time, we record all of our sessions. And you can find them here under YouTube videos. Click on that, it will show you a playlist of all the sessions. Click on that to show you for all the um, the players for all the sessions for Melbourne Escapes Point. All right, getting back to the game. Next one. This was a combo breaker. I'm actually quite surprised. Four players dropped the answer streak of three. Sorry, guys. Next one. You've seen this before. Frequently asked question. You must know the answer to this. Hopefully you get it right. Yes, uh, prime minister can be um, minister in more than one election period. So basically you can make a career out of this and stay in focusing for the rest of your life if you can manage to get the votes. All right, five people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Plug that knowledge gap. Dracula, highest answer streak of 16. That's a perfect score. Perfect score. And he's on fire. Oh my, he's on fire. On to the next one. Brand new question. Never been asked before.
All right, uh, bad. Only 36 people got this wrong. 52 people got it right. Round of applause to you guys. Everybody in the top five got this right. You guys are doing well. Great job. Seven players have reached an answer streak of six. Next one. We're getting closer to the halfway point. This is a brand new question. All right, so 35 people got this wrong. So a little bit of uh, history about Danish government. After World War II, most of the Danish governments have been minority governments, meaning that the parties that were in the government did not have a majority in the Folketing. Um, however, there have been, I think, about three majority governments, one of them being the government between 1978 and 79, between the Social Democrats and Venstre. It only lasted one year. There was another one. I can't remember exactly when, but that was Social Democrats and some other smaller parties. And the current one right now. So we have the Social Democrats, Venstre and Moderatene. So um, when you combine all the seats, they do have a majority in parliament. Moving on to the next one. All right. So Dobby is now at number one. Gabri's making a comeback with three in a row. Oh my! He's on fire! Um, on to the next one. Getting closer to the halfway mark. You've seen this before. Please, everybody, get this right. This is a no brainer. Hopefully, you all get this right. Okay, not all of you got this right. Three people got this wrong. 1849, Grunlohn was signed by Frederick VII. And um, that was the 5th of June. Okay. The three people that got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Plug that knowledge gap. You must know the answer to this. This is a frequently asked question. Anuka is back with an answer streak of three and... She's on fire! I'm not sure if it's a guy or a girl, but hopefully it's a girl. On to the next one. You've seen this before. It's not frequently asked, but brand new and also in the book. The people that have been practicing, you've heard me talk about this many, many times. Yes, Una Wiesning's minister. So, education minister. 14 people got this wrong. Actually, round of applause for you guys. Okay, um, for the 14 people that got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Plug that knowledge gap. Next one. Titan is, boy, is that train on Titan? Anyways, can't remember. Someone fell out. Three players reached an answer streak of 20. That's perfect score. Perfect score. Excellent. Okay, next one. You've seen this before, frequently asked question. Okay, so five people got this wrong. The region is responsible for insurance and the hospitals, health insurance and the hospitals. Um, now you know what you know, don't know, you need to know the answer to this. It's a frequently asked question. It has shown up in some of the previous tests. SAJ2 is making a comeback with P in a row. I don't know what's going on here, man. So I'm beginning to see a trend where the people in the top five are beginning to create new profiles I don't know, is it they're trying to, cook? I don't know. But anyways, look, I admire the enthusiasm, you know. As long as you pass the test, anything works for me. Next one.
Brand new question, never been asked before. All right, so Greenland and the Faroe Islands have their own courts and their own court system. However, if um, someone has been through the court system, does not like the decision from one of the courts in Greenland or the Faroe Islands, they can appeal to the Supreme Court in Denmark. So this is a brand new question, never been asked before. Surprising. Well, it's kind of common sense if you think about um, Denmark being, you know, um, in the least fell escape with Greenland and the Faroe Islands. But round of applause for the people who got this right. We have a static top five. Static top five. Navi is the highest climber up seven, seven places. Great job. All right. On to the next one. Brand new question. Chapter five. Literature. Yes, Susanna Borger. She appeared in the test in May, but the question there focused on what she was. She is an author. This is um, digging a bit deeper, talking about what kind of books she wrote. Um, I can see uh, how many people got this wrong. 41 people. So almost, a half, almost half of you guys got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. You need to know. Well, sorry, let me backtrack. Chapter five is um, usually the source of a lot of new questions. <laughs> yes, it's usually the source of a lot of new questions. So please put in some work on that, okay? 24 days to go. You don't have a lot of time left. This we shuffled the whole top five. Darby is holding that number one spot. Round of applause to Darby. And four players just hit an answer streak of nine. Excellent. All right. We are past the halfway point, I think. Yes, we are. <laughs> this is chapter one. Frequently asked question as well. All right, not bad at all. Only 12 people got this wrong. On to the next one. Titan is out. Trayan is in the top five with both his profiles. All right, Papa is back with an answer streak of three and... Oh my! He's on fire! On to the next one. Brand new question. All right, so how many people got this wrong? 27 people got this wrong. Um, this is a brand new question that's never shown up before. Yeah. This just illustrates that you should practice the whole book to make sure you, you have all the information covered. The questions could come from anywhere. Um, I'm suspecting that the next test is going to be harder than usual because the previous test, more people than usual actually passed. So I think it was 58% of the people that took the test passed the test. And that's way higher than anything that was before. And um, I noticed that uh, what they usually write a commentary, you know, about um, this is lower than average or higher than average. This time they didn't write anything. They just said 58% of people passed and that was it. So I'm guessing that, uh, you know, the next test is not going to be as easy, but you know, I might be wrong. Prepare for the worst though. Three in a row, Safi is back in the game and he's on fire. Oh my, he's on fire. 
next one. You guys are blaming me? <laughs> man, don't blame me, man. Right, this is a frequently asked question. Abidas Bevelson, it was from 1870. Uh, 10 people got this wrong. Fuck the knowledge gap. Now you know what you don't know. Right, next one. Static top five. Static top five. Triple Y has the highest answer streak of 26. Triple Y, I've been seeing you. You're rising through the ranks. I'm not sure if you're in the gold league now. But I remember you were in the Bronze League, and all of a sudden I saw you in either the Silver League or the Gold League. Round of applause to you. Next one. We just talked about this, so hopefully you all get this right. Please get this right so I can give an explosion. Oh man. Okay, nine people got this wrong. I just explained what this is. This is a frequently asked question, so has a very high probability of showing up. Plug that knowledge gap. Now you know what you don't know. Next one. We've got Darby, Dracula, Sag, Trayan, one and Trayan, top five, triple Y yet again, answer streak of 27. That's a perfect score. Perfect score. And oh my, he's on fire! All right, next one. I gave away the answer to this. Please get this right so we can get an explosion for tonight. Ah. Oh. Man, someone is trolling me, yeah? Anyways, round of applause. <laughs> Davis is back in the game three in a row. Oh my! He's on fire! Next one. Frequently asked question. <laughs> oh man <laughs> okay so uh yes so in 1943 this was world war ii um about eight thousand jewish people were evacuated from denmark to sweden on to the next one sg is back in the game three in a row excellent Almost at the end of history. Brand new question. This was new information that was added to the book. All right, so they were voted in. For the first time, 2011, um, 14 people got this wrong, so almost half of you. This is brand new information, okay? So this just illustrates what would happen uh, in the test if this was the actual test and you went in with the current knowledge that you have. I repeat to, uh, well, for the people that have been here before, you've heard me say this. The purpose of these cahoots is to point out your knowledge gaps. So for you to know what you don't know, now you know what you don't know. Okay, for you to know what you don't know. So you can go back and plug the knowledge gap and keep on going through this iterative process of figuring out what you don't know, plugging that knowledge gap, coming back and trying again and again until you get to a point where you know almost everything. It's not impossible. Your brain is a very powerful thing. Okay, but you have to put in the work. It's not automatic. All right, next one. Um, Vladimir is making a comeback with three in a row and... Oh my! He's on fire! 
What do we have here? Darby holding number one, Sag at two, Tran three, Tran four, Dracula five. Almost at the end of history. Right, 14 people got this wrong. The regions do not um, collect taxes. Uh, they get funding from the state and the communes, just to mention something. Okay, so I just wanted to, let me see if this guy can actually get this to work. Okay, so um, for, oh, this is Sedge, he's number four. So for you to get to 100%, okay? So if you click through to one of these, you will see for each of the quizzes, there is also a progress bar. So for your quiz to get to 100%, that means you must have done this quiz um, five times, okay? And if the whole chapter goes through 100%, that means you've done every single one of the quizzes in the chapter five times, and then this will go to 100%. As you can see, um, Saj has done a whole bunch of them at 100%. He hasn't done this one. I added some new questions to this. So Saj, please um, have a look at this and finish those and you'll get this to 100%. All right, back to the Kahoot. What's going on here? Next one. So apart from you know the whole leaderboard thing, this is a way for you to keep track of the work that you've done and the progress that you've made. Um, Gabri is back in the game with three in a row. Oh my! He's on fire! Next one. Uh-oh! This is a brand new question. Only 26 people got this wrong. Round of applause. So in the test for May 2023, so in the previous test, so the, the most recent test, there was a question about the symbol that was in the Faroese flag. So the, fa the flag for the Faroe Islands. And um, this is a very similar question, but for Greenland, okay? Um, <clears throat> Well, not much else to say, moving on. Static top five. Static top five. All players have just hit an answer streak of 14. Excellent. Moving on to the next one. Brand new question. Uh-oh. So the North Sea is also called Vesterhale. But six people got this wrong. Please practice, man. <laughs> Please, I beg you, yeah? For your own sake. Practice. You got the static top five. Static top five. 19 players have reached an answer streak of three. Excellent. Um, we have two more questions in history. And then we're moving on to current affairs. Brand new question as well. Uh oh. Okay, so just goes to show what if this was the real test. And today was the test day. This is exactly what would happen. 
So please make sure that nothing like this happens on the day of the test. Okay, plug your knowledge gaps. Now you know what you don't know. Practice. However, everyone in this top five scored points on this. And everyone in this top five is in the gold league. Those guys have been putting in a lot of work. You deserve it. Round of applause to you guys. <laughs> Lab is back with an answer streak of three. And I'm guessing it's a he. Oh my! He's on fire! Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, moving on to the next one. This is the last one. This is also a brand new question. I'm making it hard in the cahoots so that it's easy in the test for you, okay? And if it's any comfort, I actually don't know the answers to a whole bunch of these questions, even if I'm the one that created them. However, you can trust that these are the correct answers because obviously they're from the book, right? Um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> um, grab, let me see. All right, that's the game pin. How many people got this wrong? 30 people got this wrong, so not so bad. 55 people got this right round of applause. Okay, we're about to move into current affairs. I will be discussing the theme of um, the current affairs. And um, yeah, let's have a look at that. Static top five, Darby, Sag, Trey, and times two, and Dracula. Zob Zan is back in the game with three in a row. Great job. We are moving on to current affairs. <laughs> I'll talk about it, man. Okay, so this, yeah, the, the likelihood of this actually showing up is very low. But I thought it was relevant because this goes under kind of protests. And um, as you can see, uh, Pussy Riot, they're an activist group. And they right now they have an exhibition happening in Louisiana. But, you know, I don't think it's going to show up, but it fits the, um, <laughs> don't mind the name, it's just the name of the group. It fits the, the, the theme of protests. So how many people got this wrong? It's a lot of people, man, 55 people. This is definitely a combo breaker. It didn't touch anyone in the top five. Sorry, guys. All right, next one. Political parties and the leaders. Someone asked about the quizzes on the website. This is from that quiz, from one of those quizzes. So if you practice with that, you've seen this before. All right, so a recurring theme in the current affairs is um, political parties and their leaders. Alex Van Upsley, not sure if I'm saying his name right, is the leader of a liberal alliance. Please have a look at that quiz, practice with it so that you know the names of all those, um, all those people that are leading the parties that are in parliament. 18 people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Plug that knowledge gap. Ashmi is back in the game with three in a row. Next one. Excellent.
Okay, so this goes under the theme of famous dead people. Um, this is a singer um, that had a hit some time ago, I'm not sure. But um, she had cultural impact in Denmark, and she died in October at the age of 79. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so Trayon is finally at the top where he belongs. <laughs> Sag, number two, Darby, three, Dracula, four, Sassy, five. Val Thamos is back in the game with three in a row. Oh, my! He's on fire! Okay, so we have um, about seven questions to go. Next one. All right. All right, so um, the movie called Vifton was um, awarded a prize by Nordisk Hall. Nordisk Hall is the entity that coordinates between the parliaments of the Nordic countries. And every day they hand out a prize to some kind of cultural thing, in this case, a movie that promotes um, Nordic ideas, I guess. Um, the theme of this is um, excellence. So Danish excellence on the world stage, in this case, in the Nordic region. Um, yeah, so this is the second to the last current affairs question. Sassy fell out, Titan came in. JKM is back with an answer streak of three. Round of applause to you. At the moment, we have Trey and one, Sag, Darby, Titan, and Dracula. We have six questions to go. Next one. Bro, don't blame me, man. This is what's in the news, okay? And they, they fit the theme, so here they are. Okay, I can see, man, people are messing up in this current affairs. You guys are not keeping an eye out in the news, okay? This here is um, the same theme. Um, Danish excellence on the world stage, um, either in sports, in movies, in music, whatever. In this case, um, after the, after the, the, the female World Cup, the Danish female football team went up in the rankings to number 12. Um, that's it for current affairs. We're moving on to Danish values. Damn. Tran is the only one that actually scored points in this. This guy is a beast, man. Round of applause, man. Well, okay, the only one that scored points of, on this in the top five, I can see Tom also scored some points. Tom is the highest climber up six places. Great job. Well done, man. We've got five questions to go. Danish values. You guys are taking the mick. They're taking the mick in the in the in the well, Houston is taking the mick in the chat. Anyways, um, in Denmark, there is religious freedom. So um, you can choose to leave your religion, join another religion, it doesn't matter. Okay, um, on to the next one. Most of you got that right. FS is making a comeback with three in a row. We saw a similar question to this the last time. All 
right. There is no other system of law apart from the uh, uh, court system in Denmark. Okay. How many people got this right? Okay, I need. I guess I need to make. I need to mention this. Um, sometimes the the questions in um, Danish values are asked in a weird way. So, and they use words that you know. Sometimes you might not know the meanings of those words, or you might mis misunderstand the meanings of those words. So, please, you've heard me say this before. Read the questions slowly. Okay. And this goes for every single one of the questions, not just the Danish values questions. Read the questions slowly. Make sure you understand what the question is asking. Read the answers slowly. Make sure you understand each of those answers and then you go ahead and answer, okay? Um, the test is not a Kahoot. So you don't score points for speed. You only score points for accuracy, okay? So please take your time. You have one minute per question. Um, whereas in the Kahoot, you have 20 seconds. I put a bit more pressure on you guys here so that, you know, it's easier for you on the day. On to the next one. All right, so Darby is climbing back, but Trayon is leading by almost 2,000 points. Christian Chris is the highest climber. I guess I need to mention this here as well. Um, if you're here for the first time, your profile will be created. So um, keep an eye out on the leaderboard. Hopefully I have shown, well, I did show you how to get to the leaderboard. Give it, um, give it, I'll try to see if I can upload the results tonight. Look for your name in the rookie league because that's where you're going to be. And then pick up from there. Do all the um, sessions that you missed and then start from chapter one, going all the way down. The goal is for you to look like Trayon. Trayon is the, the blueprint at this point. All right, on to the next one. All right, a round of applause. Um, I did a whole session on um, on Danish values. I think it was two seasons ago, I can't remember, but it's on YouTube. So just have a look at the YouTube channel. I already showed you how to get there. Have a look at that. And you'll see that there is, um, there is uh, what do you call it? An explanation and also the themes that are beginning to emerge on the what do they call this thing on the Danish values. Okay. So yes, it is the unions. Um however, uh this uh, this goes under what do they call this thing? Gender equality, right? And there is an actual law where um that has been passed that guarantees the same pay for the same amount of work, regardless of gender. So yes, it's the unions that do the collective bargaining that decide the wages, but there is a law guaranteeing same pay for same work, regardless of gender. I hope that answers your question. Moving on to the next one, Dracula climbing the charts. We have two questions to go and we're done with this. I'm moving on to Melville Escapes poem. You've seen a question similar to this as well. All right, so most of you got this right. Um, this is about corruption. There is low corruption in Denmark and corruption is punishable. All right. Wow, there's a huge reshuffle. So we have trainer number one, Satch two, Titan three, Darby fell to four, Dracula five. Now Viola has the highest answer streak of 10. She's on fire. 
All right. Excellent. Last one. Read the question slowly. Okay, well, now you know what you don't know for the 17 people who got this wrong. Um, yeah, that's the last question for tonight. Let's have a look at how you guys performed. We got Titan at number three. All right, so we got Trey and Sag and Titan, Darby and Dracula at number four and five. Newlydanish.com.